So last night I had the opportunity to attend a Beta Bionics insulin pump dinner and learn a bit more about the pump and who would be good for this pump and who would not be good for this pump. So I'm just going to highlight some of those um, bits of information that I learned from that dinner last night. Well, this pump is indicated for people who are six years of age or older. You do need to be carb aware. So you don't have to count your carbs, but you do need to be able to say, you know, this is a normal carb meal for me. This is a, a bit more, this is a bit less. So you need to be carb aware. Uh, you need to be patient. This is running on an algorithm that's designed to take decisions out of your daily life. So if you're not able to be patient, let the algorithm work and do its thing, you know, this might not be the pump for you. This is not going to be for the person who likes to micromanage their diabetes. As an example, maybe someone's using um, a competitor insulin pump and they notice that their blood sugars are trending up and you've, you're around a 140. Maybe you might bump and nudge that and give half a unit, a full unit to kind of bring it back down into range. This is not something that you can do with the Beta Bionics Islet pump. You have to let the algorithm continuously run in the background there. Again, this pump is designed to make your life easier, take decisions out of it for you with your diabetes. Because we all know that there's a huge burden of decision making when it comes to diabetes. This pump is aiming to help with that. If you let the pump run and do its thing, a lot of people are seeing A1Cs of about a 6.5 to a 7% with very little effort on their part.